Welcome back beautiful people. Today I will be doing a little bit of a different build. I'll actually be adding the drainage layer in as usual, but I won't be adding in the mesh membrane between them. I am going to be experimenting the difference between them, seeing if it makes a substantial difference because I have got terrariums running where all of them have the mesh membrane in. So I am wanting to see if it really does matter that much. The soil itself though, I use my normal tropical soil mix, which I will put in the video description. That way you guys can use it whenever you feel necessary and it is based around tropical environments. A few of the pieces of wood I put in on this were a little bit too big. I did change, I think I only changed one piece in the end, but I am only using different types of mosses in this build today. And that's purely because I don't want to bombard it with plants. I don't think any of the plants that I have wouldn't completely outgrow this straight away. So I am just going to relax with it a little bit, not overcrowd it for now and just keep mosses. The mosses will grow and either way, you know, those will actually pad it out just enough for me to physically enjoy the growth and development of a terrarium of this size. The vision was like an embankment in a forest where you've got a couple of dead trees or dead logs that have fallen down and you've got that pathway um, or footwalk that's going through the actual forest itself. I'll be keeping springtails and isopods in the setup. They will be the cleanup crew. I'll just be using standard porcelios inside here because I'm not going to use any of the fancy ones as again, I am experimenting, so I don't want to risk any of the fancy stuff dying. I ended up changing my mind with the design though halfway through, but it still looks like a forest to me or that type of environment. Also, let me know what you'd rather me do on these types of videos. Would you rather me explain everything that I'm doing in much more detail, just so you know what I'm doing and why I'm doing it or where I'm placing certain plants? Or would you rather me just show you the builds and sort of let you know like today, roughly what I'm doing and why? I do get a lot of mixed views from people saying they like it when I explain things in much more detail. And also people when they just sort of say, I, I go over it briefly and kind of get through the videos towards the end goal of the terrarium. But just let me know which one you guys prefer in the comments below. If you haven't joined the Discord server yet, make sure you do join the Discord server. There's a lot of other people who keep animals just like you and me, a community, what we've got going now, and they're an absolute great bunch of people. If you have liked the video as well, don't forget to smash that like button. Subscribe if you want to see more updates, more terrariums and different things on this channel. And please don't forget to drop a comment below what you want to see next, what content, what type of animal, invertebrate, anything you want me to keep, let me know in the comments below. The final thing I want to say is all I do is use a cling film lid. I do have a lid that comes with it, a wooden one, which is really nice, but cling film always works best for me because more like it's inside the terrarium. But as always from me, guys, peace and love. I'm out.